are you? Why are you in our house? Rainy. Go to bed. Dad? Dad? What is it, sir? Oh my God. Oh my God, no. No. Please, no. Please, no, please. God, no. No, please. I took everything, Vinny. Everything! We're ruined. Ruined! Last photo we took of Kimberly before she disappeared. She's such a wonderful girl. She loves to write, paint, and steal. Stealing never did stop, did it, Sam? No, it didn't, Father. And I blame myself. I should have been stronger, less of a friend, more of a father. Don't be too hard on yourself, Sam. It's not your fault. She was an addict and a thief. But she's my baby girl. Love of the spider flaws. So you haven't seen my Kimberly father? I have not seen your little girl, Sam. You're absolutely certain of that? Yes, I am. Well, the reason I ask, Father, is that Father Taylor you know Father Taylor, don't you? Since we were children. That's what I thought. He told me that she was on her way to see you. She was always comfortable discussing her ongoing issues with you. Oh. Very pleased to hear that she felt that way. I really am, but she never made it to safe haven. 
You know, Father, that's the damnedest thing of all. Because my little girl did make it to safe haven. She sent us this memento. Missing you both, love, K. That's how Kimberly signed off. And it was sent from safe haven, Mississippi. That's where you boys are from, isn't it? It is our base. That's what they tell me. And it seems you were there when my daughter was there. Now, I don't have a lot of money, but I'm gonna hire a private investigator. I can't see any other way to find out what my... Is it? You take care of our problem? I'm patching it up again. All right, but she's not going to hold together too much longer. We still need to get a new engine. Nope. What we need is a more competent mechanic. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long since your last confession? I was here last week, Father. You don't remember? No, well, we don't keep score. Carry on. What are your sins? Perversion, Father. Lusting after my neighbor. How many times? Too many to count. Does she know of your lust? No, no, Father. It, it's a he. That's what makes it so terrible. Let the Lord be the judge of that. Does he know of your intentions? No, Father. I, I put a spy cam up in his house. Oh, well. That's worse than the first part. You think so? You're burned for it without absolution. I'm sorry, Father. Is there anything else you want to add? Please tell me you purchased the spy cam at least. Oh, oh, I did, Father. My own line. I, I used a coupon, got 35% off. Oh, well, that works in your favor. Well, very well. For these sins? All the other ones I forgot, Father, but I am truly sorry. Do you realize what you're doing is an evasion of another man's privacy? I want you to examine your conscience before such behavior again. Yes, Father. Repentance, 12 Hail Marys, 6 Our Fathers. And I want you to remove the spy cam from your neighbor's house immediately. What if my neighbor's home, Father? You were able to install it without getting caught, weren't you? Yes, Father. Go in peace. You don't express dissatisfaction with the person by stealing from them, ma'am. But I feel nothing but resentment for my daughter's fiance, father. Why do you feel this way about him? He's two-faced. He, he has other women. I, I never trusted him. Look, I, I know this is wrong, but I want him out of her life. That's why you steal from his wallet? I knew that money was the only thing that mattered to him. Do you realize what you're saying? This is not the philosophy of a Christian woman. Your daughter made a choice to be with this man. If she loves him and is committed to him, then you must accept. I can't, Father. I, I, I can't. You must. It's difficult for me, Father. Then make a contrition. For the sins that I have committed and those that I have forgotten, sorry. 
That was half-hearted. Allow me. Father? Through this ministry, may God grant you pardon and peace. I absolve you of your sins in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. This is Marty Midnight on Beyond Midnight from WMGO River Radio. We have Pariah on the line. She's joining us this morning from Yazoo City, Mississippi. How's life on the dark side, sister? You know, that's good, Marty. Are you staying out of trouble? Trouble's much too good to stay out of. What's new? You still want it in five states? I'm not sure. I lost count. <laughs> so, what do you have to confess tonight, my dear? You know there's no judgment here. Well... I dumped my man. Man or monster. I don't like his voice. Receive these wretched souls into paradise. I got restless. Well, a girl's gotta do what a girl's gotta do. I wanted something that no living man can give. Now you got me really feeling inadequate. So I killed him. You killed him? Is that bad? Who am I to nail you to a cross, my precious? Ladies break up with us these days by email or text. You keep it Old Testament. I respect that. Hi, Ruby. How are you? I'm better now. Uh, happy birthday. It's your birthday, right? Mm-hmm. Stay right there. I have something for you, too. It's your birthday, not mine. <laughs> and then open it. All right. See you soon. Oh. I almost forgot. Um, happy birthday again. Oh. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Forgive me, Padre, for I've sinned. 
I really need forgiveness. I took a bribe while I was on the city council and I feel terrible. I need forgiveness. Please forgive me. I wish I could do more. You know, it's not much. That's all right. Uh, we got plenty more back at the tabernacle. Hmm. Your church? Oh, um, no, that's what we call our house. Please. Thank you. So who's we? My brother and I. We live together. Sweet. At the tabernacle? <laughs> yeah. So what's going on in there? My brother's a priest. He's in there hearing confessions right now. So you guys actually have a church? You're looking at it. I'd like to meet this brother of yours. Off in line. Maybe another time. Thanks for the chit chat. I stole money from an old lady, a neighbor. I have a drug habit. Needed a fix. I feel terrible about it, but I had no choice. And I know it's wrong. And I'm asking you for forgiveness, Father. You put your needs above that of that poor soul? Yes, Father. Yes, but I want God's forgiveness. I know what I did. But Father? Father, aren't you going to say anything? Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. You have God's forgiveness, my son. May death be your salvation. Morning, friend. Morning. Sorry to intrude. I'm looking for some fellas that used to live here. Uh, Michael and uh, Vincent. You might have known the second fellow as Father Vincent. Hmm, priest, huh? I recall some talk of a couple of fellas living here once. Never knew their names. How long have you lived here, friend? About 10 years, I reckon. All right, I appreciate it. You a detective? What'd that priest fella do? Diddle one of those altar boys? I'm a priest myself. Some of us still make it our business to act like one. God bless you, friend. Restore what he took in full and add a fit to it and give it to him whom it belong on the day he realizes his guilt. If not, he shall be put to death. And we all work hard to provide for our families and put bread on the table and roof over our heads. And these heathens, these 
God does vultures take from us the bounty which God has graciously provided. Now they must pay for their sins with their blood and the blood of their children. Can I get an amen? Amen. Still shall be purged away. I will make you go forth, declares the Lord of hosts. <laughs> we, will, we will enter the house of thieves, and we will stay in that house, and we will consume it with timber and stones. <laughs> See, folks, folks, please, I'm sorry, folks, please, 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 folks, stay, please. What is wrong with you, incompetent idiot? Thought you had the sound fixed. I checked it earlier. It was fine. Oh, yeah? Clearly not. I, I'm sorry. Shit happens. Huh. Little good that does us now. You really are an ungrateful prick, aren't you? Get out of my face! Your presence is offensive to me. Here you go, Mike. It's the last piece. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't order any pie, Ruby. I know. I thought you'd like it. I know it's your favorite. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you. So, what happened to your face? Did you fall down? Yeah. Uh, something like that. Michael's always been a bit clumsy. You want me to get some ice for you? No, thanks. I'll uh, deal with it when we go home. You are going to put this piece of high on our check, aren't you? No, it's on the house. So... You own this restaurant? No. Just work here. Then you don't own this piece of pie. You're stealing something you don't own, and you're giving it to Michael. Uh, you boys are regulars. I never really thought about it like that. Well, maybe you should, because that's the way it is. <sighs> Say, why don't you come by the van tomorrow for a confession, and I can clarify the morality of your sin? No. She doesn't have anything to confess. Are you Catholic, Ruby? Uh, I'm lapsed. <laughs> I haven't been to a church in years. Well, that's OK. Once a Catholic, always a Catholic. Right, brother? I'm not so sure about that. You're not so sure, are you? Why would you be? Ruby's a good girl. She doesn't have anything to confess, so drop it. Nobody's good child, not in the bones. It is something we try on like a coat that never fits. Now, put this piece of pie on our check. When you're ready to come see me, confession is your road to redemption. Thank you, Father. and pull over. Leave her alone, Vincent. Just take it out on me instead. Take what out on you? There's a soul out there. I'm going to save it. Bet you are. Just pull over. Hot enough for you? Yeah, it's plenty hot enough, but uh, it's the wind that will kill you. Yeah, so what happened? Uh, spaghetti stripped. I tried to call for help, but there's no service out here. Yeah, it's hit or miss. So, uh, 
we give you a ride? Uh, I don't know. I don't make a habit of riding with strangers. That's smart. No, it's a sound policy, but I'm a man of the cloth. You are a real priest. As real as the air is fresh, spreading hope and absolution to fellow travelers of the road. Are you Catholic? Uh, my parents are. I haven't been to church in a long time. You ever done confession? A few times when I was younger. No. Oh. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll give you a ride into town for a confession. Do you? Uh, what would I have to do? Just step into confessional. I'll talk you through it. What about my bike? Please begin by telling me your sins. Just be honest and confess them all. The Lord is ready to forgive you. Wait, isn't there something I'm supposed to say first? Normally, yes, but I'm not so formal. Just describe your sins, please. Um, okay, um... Oh, uh, I drink too much and, uh, I smoke weed. Uh-huh. Please continue. My grandma died last year. I didn't go to the funeral. I lied to my mom, told her my car broke down. Uh, uh, go on, my child. Is that it? I stole money from my sister so I could go on this trip. We've never gotten along, so I don't really feel that bad about it. I guess that's the worst stuff. You think it's okay to steal money, especially from your own flesh and blood? No, no I, I don't think it's good. She's a bitch. The seventh commandment says, Thou shalt not steal. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 2. Treasures gained by wickedness do not profit, but righteousness delivers from death. Okay, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. Lying lips are an abomination to the Lord! Can you, can you stop the van? I, I don't want to do this anymore. I, I, I want to get out. Death is your salvation, sweetheart. Michael? Hey, Sheriff. How goes it? Ah, uh, doing real good. Real good. Did I do something wrong? I don't know. Did you? Nah, I'm just kidding you. No, you didn't do anything wrong. But I need to speak to you and your brother. 
Is he in the back? Yes, sir. Morning, Sheriff. What can we do for you this fine morning? Well, hello, Father. How are you? I'm blessed. So why'd you pull us over? Michael driving too slow again? No. <laughs> no, no, he's driving just fine. No, but I need to talk to you boys. There's been another disappearance. Another girl. Oh. She was up here about a week ago. Around 20 years old, blonde, pretty, riding a purple bicycle. Here, take a look. You know, kind of look a lot alike around here. Have you seen her? They all look the same to me. I'm, I'm sorry. Well, all right. But if you boys see anything suspicious, you'll let me know, right? Absolutely. Nothing more suspicious than us around these parts, all. I reckon you're right. But keep an eye out for me, OK? You still got my number? Yes, sir. All right, then. I say, since I'm here and all, you boys mind if I take a quick look in the back? Strictly routine. Um, yeah, go, go ahead. in there but the Holy Spirit. You got that right. Uh, Sheriff, while well, you're here, you want to do a confessional? You don't have enough time to hear all my sins, Vincent. Besides, I'm not Catholic. Well, I won't hold that against you. you change your mind. All right. You boys be safe out there, OK? There's a lot of nutbags on these roads. go for a drink. Me too. Great. Why don't you whip us both up on that? What the hell are you doing? For heaven's sakes, Michael! I thought you were getting the drinks. Yeah. I thought you were done doing that shit. What are you talking about? Don't pretend like this is the first time you've done this to us. What's your problem, friends? Michael? Are you seeing things again? Is your imagination running wild? What? I mean, the, the nerve of these accusations. What the hell are you talking about? I just saw you with your hand up inside of her. I don't think I can trust you anymore, brother. You used to have my back, and now I'm not so sure. Look, I don't ask much of you. Just help me set up each day, do the collections, keep the band running. You can't even do that right. You're unbelievable. How is it my fault that you don't want to fix the engine, OK? You're the tight ass who won't put any money until we have plenty of money. It's not our money! Until we recover every single dollar that was stolen, Dad won't rest in peace. And maybe then he'll forgive me. Forgive you? It wasn't your goddamn fault. You were a fucking kid. It was my fault. Look, I was weak. I should have done something. This has been the same fucking song for 20 years. Get over it. It 
wouldn't hurt to put some money in the van. That's a piece of crap's going to hell. It wouldn't if it was our money, brother. Cancer took my wife Gertrude four years ago. But that was after she suffered through two years of it, eating up her insides. Gertrude was a good bit younger than me, and well, we, we had a pretty healthy sex life. But the cancer, it was ovarian cancer. It just plain put a stop to the sex. I did okay for a while, but hell, it gets it gets downright lonely on a farm 20 miles from town. And well, I get the urge to wet my wick, you know? Well, I guess you don't know because you're a priest, but anyway, what's a perfectly healthy man with, with perfectly natural urges supposed to do when the only living female is, is a goat? Hello again. What happened? Life take a poke at you? Oh, uh, I'm not married. You got a lady? Yeah. Thank you, ma'am. I'm not anybody's man. Name's Mary Francis. It's your brother in? Ah. Uh. And they're saving souls. I, I tried to deny my feelings for her. I named her Gertrude after my wife, you know? But to be honest, in the dark, it ain't all that different. Father, you think God will forgive me for this? Stealing anything, okay? What? Just trust me. Bless me, Father, for I have sinned. How long has it been since your last confession, child? I don't know. Maybe two years. State your sins, please. I swear sometimes. I think about sex a lot. How often do you do this? Whenever I meet someone I fancy. <laughs> That's a lot of someone's. I see. Is there anything else? Father. I think what you're doing here is amazing. Is there any way I can be part of your crusade? What are you talking about? Do you need an assistant, someone to help you? I'm pretty handy. Uh, I have my brother. He's, he's more than adequate. Sorry. Just thought I'd offer. I feel... I don't know what it is. A calling? I appreciate the offer. For your sins, three Our Fathers and three Hail Marys. You want change for this? Keep it. Did you give your brother the money back? No, Father, he doesn't deserve it. it. It wasn't his money in the first place. Of course it was his money. What you did was steal. You took something that didn't belong to you. I, I don't know about that, Father. He, he didn't. Sit there! Sorry. 
She saved our butts, which is more than I could say for you. Oh, well, maybe if you stop killing people. Don't say something you'll regret. Fine. Why the hands, Father? The hands of a thief are offensive to God. Doesn't sin start with the head, Father? The hands are the tool of the unrepentant sinner. I hope you won't cut off my hands, Father. Don't give me a reason to. Stay here until we figure something else out. It's late, so we'll talk tomorrow. Good night. God bless. Good night, Vincent. Night, Michael. can talk about marty what you you're not gonna start holding out on me now i mean give me something to chew on girl i am starving here 
Well, since you put it like that, I did find religion. Oh, babe, no, no, no. Say it ain't so. It's not what you think, Marty. It's kind of a kick, actually. Really? Oh, okay, all right. I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. How did you find religion? Perhaps it's more accurate to say that religion found me. <laughs> oh, boy. You're a bad, bad, bad girl, Pariah. I try to be good, Marty. But being good is just so tedious. doesn't look the same. None of us do, Father. Michael, how are you, son? Hanging in there, Father. Missed you. Missed you both. It's been too long. So, Father, what do you want? I know you didn't come all this way just to chit-chat. All right, then. I'll come straight to the point. The Archbishop is unhappy with your activities up here. He knows what you're up to. He's prepared to take action if necessary to stop you from claiming to be associated with the church. Is that so? I'm afraid it is. I came here to warn you. You're warning me? You're damn right, Vincent. You've been excommunicated from the church. You wouldn't follow the rules then. You're not following them now. To hell with your church's rules. I have my own church now, my own rules. That's fine, Vincent, that's fine. But you can't call it Catholic and you can't take confession. I can do whatever the hell I damn well please. This was still America the last time I looked. Perhaps you should look again. I'm sorry to hear that's your position. I hope you'll reconsider. Take a week and think about it. I won't say anything to the Archdiocese till I hear from you. Here's my number. I'm sorry, young lady. We haven't been introduced. I'm Mary Francis. Good to meet you, Mary. Are you a member of Vincent's church? Thanks for stopping by, Father. <clears throat> Look, Vincent, I apologize if my dropping in unannounced like this has upset you. 
that wasn't my intention, but I needed to talk to you about a couple things. Well, I'm not stopping my ministry. What else do you want to talk about? Do you remember Sam Oldfield and his daughter, Kimberly? Yeah, they were prisoners of mine for 10 years. Kimberly was a teenager then, and I helped her with some issues. She's still struggling with those issues and came to see me recently. She talked about you and how you helped her back then and how comfortable she felt in talking to you. She said she wanted to find you and speak to you. Well, she never found me. I see. Unfortunately, Kimberly's missing now, and Sam and his wife were murdered two weeks ago. Oh, well, oh my God. I'm really sorry to hear that. Yeah, we all were. Sam was one of the good guys. All right, then. Good to see you two boys again. What's going on, Vincent? You got some kind of animal back there? <clears throat> Something like that. Think about what we discussed, Vincent. Call me. Father Taylor's right, Vincent. He was a good guy. Say what? Michael. It was wrong. I told you it was wrong. You shouldn't have killed them. They're good people. You shouldn't have killed anybody. You're not God. Shut up, Michael. What are you saying, Michael? That Vincent. I had no choice, Vincent. I should shoot you too, you fucking Judas! Save it! We have work to do. What are you doing? Vincent! Vincent, you can't do this! He didn't even do anything, man! Jesus! Hey. He's still alive! God! How about we saw? What the fuck is wrong with you? Do this. Fuck. With what? Murdering the guy that saved our lives when we were kids? He left us no choice. Us? 
So she's making your moral decisions now. What do you expect? You betrayed us both. You realize we're all in this together, don't you? One of us slips, we all go down. I don't care anymore. Well, you should. Whatever your earthly objectives are, what we're doing here is God's work, brother. It's our mission. It's your mission. I'm just here to clean up your mess. You lack faith. That's why you're losing focus. Look, I could have done none of this without you. Look, we're a team. God will reward us both. <laughs> you really believe that, don't you? You told me so. I wonder why I didn't get that call. After tonight's shenanigans, brother, I need to know that you can be trusted. I'm not the one you need to worry about, brother. Did you speak to him? We're good. I hope you're right. Want to take a walk, Father? I have something to confess. Tell me, Vincent. What the hell have you got in that cell of yours? Whatever it is, I want to meet it. Where the hell is your brother? What are you doing here? I should ask you the same thing. None of your business. You are my business. Let's go. No. I'm busy. I'm going to wait outside. Good. What are you... Are you serious? I'm, so, I'm sorry. Are you okay? Oh, yeah. Where's Mary Frances? Didn't she give you a ride? She went to see a friend. Oh, she has friends? You know, uh, I've been thinking, maybe you don't need me anymore. You're my brother. I'll always need you. For what? to drive, to cook, tend the garden, chop people up. She can do all that. We're family. We need to stick together. Yeah, we'll always be family. But I don't think I can do this anymore.
somebody I can be happy with, somebody I can start a new life with. You're not happy for me, are you? I want for you what the Lord wants for you, brother. Isn't that enough? Do you realize just how close we are to making Dad's dream come true? We've recovered almost all the money. Great. He can spend the rest of his life chained to a palm tree on a desert island. <laughs> but you're still gonna leave us, aren't you? You're gonna leave us with your girlfriend. You're not taking any of this. I don't want it. Keep it. Well, what do you want, Michael? Bless me, Father, for I've sinned. You sure you want to do this, brother? Please. How long has it been since your last confession? I don't remember. Too long. Then state your sins, please. I've spent most of my life letting terrible things happen. I was weak wrong state your sins please i just did these aren't sins you're no different than most men we all have regrets i was complicit in heinous acts and murder state your sins please murder many murders i did nothing to stop them any of them i kept my father in a hole fitting in pieces of I want forgiveness. No forgiveness is required, brother, when you haven't committed a sin. Vincent? Go in peace. Not until you've... Go in peace, brother. Not until you've acknowledged in my fucking sin. peace! You can't even give me that. I had some things to take care of. What things? Well, Michael's got some news for us, Mary. Seems he's moving on to greener pastures. Isn't that right? Congratulations and all that. Go to bed. about all I think about, Father. In the morning, in the afternoon, when I'm snoring next to my wife at night. I, she doesn't know it, but my head's full of pretty little pictures of Clara. We need to stop. Lusting after the wife of another man is a sin. But I love her, Father. And as sure as tomorrow is a brand new day, I love her like crazy.
What are you doing? Why are you stopping? I have to take care of something. I'll be right back. Mary Frances is sick. We need to get her home. I said I'll be right back. Please, Michael. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Happy. Talk to me. She's gone. Gone, gone where? She's dead. Murdered. What? you were sick. I am. <coughs> I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. I'm fucking awesome. You happy? All right. I'm sorry about your friend. Hey. Where'd you really get to last night? I had a few problems to take care of. Well? Where'd you tell him I was last night? Seeing some friends. That was dumb. Sorry. Right, look, you should take my bed tonight. Thanks. If you don't mind, I'm gonna sit tomorrow out. I need rest. Of course. Good night, Vincent.
can't be trusted. I've never hurt anybody in my whole life. But I can't let her live. Not after what she's done. I should tell you, my dad's not too fond of thieves either. Never been too popular. Thank <laughs> you. 
Michael. Mary. Michael. God, we didn't keep him in that hospital where they would have, uh, how'd you put it? Surely abused him and treated him like garbage. Sorry, brother. I lost my head. No, you didn't. But your girlfriend did. What happened here? Why this? She was a thief. She was fixing to run off with all dad's money. This is how we treat thieves, remember? No. She wasn't like them. On the contrary, she was just like them. Only worse. She was a liar, a cheat, and a manipulator, just like you. What? The two of you would have made the cutest little couple of hypocrites. What are you talking about? I suspected it. But I didn't want to believe it. Believe what, Michael? She meant the world to me. She was all I ever cared about. And you took her from me. Please, Michael, all right? Don't! You two murdered her. Michael. Stop it. All right, look. You're right about Mary. She admitted it. Ruby didn't mean shit to Mary. She killed her with your blessing. No, Michael, that... Stop lying, and maybe I'll forgive you. I'm sorry, brother. I, I sinned. I, I allowed myself to be seduced by sin. I was weak. Please forgive me, brother. Please forgive me. Can I forgive you? Thank you, brother. May death be your salvation. Michael, no, no! And mine as well.
This is Beyond Midnight on WMGO River Radio. Alan is joining us from Baxterville. How you keeping, brother? Uh, I'm keeping pretty good, Marty. You know me. I was curious, though. Whatever happened to Pariah? I miss that crazy broad. She was a trip. Uh, we all miss her, Al. It's been a couple of months since she last blessed us with that sweet madness. But I'm sure we haven't heard the last of her. Yo, man, did, didn't she say like one time she escaped from some loony bin in New York? Oh, Marty, man, Piranha was crazy as hell, man. She came up with the craziest story every time she called. That girl had some issues, and that's for sure. But it would always make my night whenever she would make up another of her crazy stories about how she had killed this fellow and that fellow. And she was hard to take at times, but she would make me laugh so hard, my sides would ache. I'm not so sure she did make them stories up, but she was always so damn convincing. If you're listening, babe, wherever you are, I love you. And I know you're still raising hell. <laughs>